Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, June 9th. We can get them to shuffle. June 9th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This is being recorded for June 9th, but, you know, we're all at different spots in our life, so whenever it resonates... Happen to throw those out, so we'll take them. Ooh, the Justice card reversed and the Three of Cups reversed. There's some uh, unfairness here. Maybe some dishonesty. Not making somebody very happy. Somebody's not happy about maybe there's been some lies. Hmm. I think there's been some some undesirable news that has been received. Okay, so you could be dealing with somebody that has a victim mentality and they are bring, bringing some negativity into your life. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions, so they're probably making up some stories like they're the victim here. Whatever the hell that is. Yee! <laughs> now it makes sense. Oh, goodness gracious. Woo! Wow. Yeah, there's definitely, you. there is a person, whether, you know, it's a man or a woman. Somebody has a victim mentality here. And you're dynamic, okay? They, they're, they're, they see themselves as, as the victim, or they play the victim, okay? One or the other. Could be both, whatever. Somebody is like begging for attention. I really need some attention right now. And I, even if I have to get it in a negative way. So they could be doing things that um, are unjustified to get that attention. You know what I mean? Whatever I got to do to get attention, I'm going to do it. Let me get this zoomed in. Or focused or whatever you want to call it um they may cry you know um give you the silent treatment uh poor poor pitiful me they may um overindulge in food or addictions uh you're dealing with somebody that is uh, being very lazy and complacent and withdrawn. And it's causing you some feelings of, I need to get the hell out of here. You know, with the chariot card. So I feel like somebody is wanting to get the hell out. I need to get the hell out of this situation. Whether it's just for a minute or a day or forever. I don't know what it is. Somebody is wanting to, to bolt. Okay. Because I'm looking for something a little bit more secure and stable than this. And you're dealing with a person that is far from stable at this moment. Okay, so I feel like there is some sort of, you know, the Two of Cups is a partnership. There's a partnership here between two people where one of them is not mastering their emotions in any way, shape, or form, and the other one is. And somebody, it's almost like emotional blackmail here through victim mentality. I feel as though someone is probably saying things or doing things just to cause imbalance so that they can get attention, even if it is negative attention. So my advice would be, you know, maybe to take a time out, maybe to to um, walk away, to um, save yourself from, you know, an argument, whatever. Um, I do feel like so you're dealing with a very moody, temperamental individual who is probably all over the place. Now, this could even be you, okay? Somebody that is watching this is feeling withdrawn, complacent, um overly emotional there could be a lot of um crying going on uh, or uh 
whatever's going on today, I, I think there's going to be a lack of, of peace and harmony. And I do apologize for giving you this message. But, I mean, you just take a look at this and you can pretty much see that somebody is feeling left out. They're feeling alone. They're feeling like they're not being heard. And they're begging for attention because they're not happy. They're feeling that they're not getting anywhere. They're not being appreciated. They're not, they don't have anything good going for them. You know, they're, they're, they're bringing their negativity onto you and they're doing it in whatever way possible. So just, just keep in mind that what you need to do is, is probably get in your car and drive away or whatever get in your chariot, whatever. You need to probably, you know, find your mental strength to remove yourself from this situation, okay? So that you can bring back that that security within yourself and that stability so that, you know, nothing gets out of hand, okay? This this two of clubs, I mean, that's the most, these, there's only really, I mean, there's three positive cards right here, but it, it appears that um, somebody is really treating another person unfairly with their with their victim mentality and, and somebody, you know, is devoted to this partnership and probably just needs to take a time out to to gather their their own, you know, to regroup, you know. Um, <laughs> let me get some more cards. What the hell is this? Somebody has, somebody's making a decision. Somebody is probably making a decision in regards to their commitment with this person. They've been in a commitment. They've been in a partnership with this person. But this person keeps playing the victim. This person is a victim. And that's how they see themselves, as a victim. And it's not fair. It's not fair. That justice reversed is not fair. They don't want to be held accountable. And it feels as though you are probably making a decision whether to whether to stay or go, you know. And maybe, you know, you need to find your security elsewhere. I mean, the Ten of Coins can be moving home. So some of you may be considering, because this is making, making the decision in regards to a partnership, you know, and a commitment. You know, following your own path, you may be deciding to go your own way because you don't want to deal with this mentality. All right. I mean, so I feel as though there's a new exciting opportunity waiting for somebody in which they can believe in themselves and they can follow their own path. If they master their emotions and take the lead and replace that fear with faith, there's room for growth here in a relationship. But you, when, if you're dealing with a person that it refuses to rejoice or be happy or see things from a different light, it makes it kind of hard to feel stable and secure. So I feel like somebody is probably making a decision in regards to a partnership that is on on edge okay so it's, there's extremes here with the, with the temperance card, there's extremes. I mean, I think that you're dealing with a person, it's almost, and I'm not saying this person is bipolar, but to give you an idea of this, it's up and down. There's extremes. One minute this person is good and, and it's great, you know, and, you, and, then, and there's love. And the next minute it's like, shit. You know, it's like, oh my God, this person is like off the rocker. You know, that kind of thing. So I feel like you're you're really making a decision with the seven of cups reversed it's coming becoming clear of what this really is it's listening to your inner guide but this is the hierophant card somebody's inner guide is telling them that that you know i think it's time to move on the is moving on travel get the hell out of this situation 
anyway this is a lot I know that it is but I feel like somebody is um, making the decision to find security and stability elsewhere there could be a new partner there could be a new partnership okay on the horizon there could be a new growth on the horizon after you make this decision to leave this whatever it is it's a friggin mess whatever it is um, you're dealing with somebody who is a victim and they're manipulative and they cry all the time so I'm sorry but I'm not gonna butter it up for you guys so you know and that's people that don't want to be held accountable for their actions I don't want to be held accountable and that isn't fair it's not fair so I feel like, you know, somebody is probably feeling like, you know what, it's time for me to follow my own path. It is. I, I have a better, more exciting uh, adventure to head out to, okay? So I think that I'm going to just hop in my chariot and get the hell out. So whatever this means to you, so be it. Here it is. Talk to you later.